good morning to you kitten. My name is Pretty Black Cat and I really want to talk about that new, new Sonic footage we just saw. I think all of you know what I'm talking about. Because right now everyone's placing their bet saying that this new Sonic game coming out next year is either called Sonic Rangers or Sonic Zack. And I'm like, no, 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 no. Neither of them quite fit, in my opinion. And why is that? It's because of the glitchy purple effect that shows up be behind Sonic when he started running. And the cyan color that surrounds him before he starts doing it. So, the throw everyone into to a loop and to throw everyone in the Sonic fandom into a loop and get them to think about it. I'm gonna call it by a different name until they official until Sega officially announce it. I'm gonna call it Sonic Matrix. Oh shit. It's already taken? <sighs> Fine then. I'll call it Sonic Glitch. Because now that I think about it, calling it Sonic Matrix might not have been the best idea. Because if you decide to call it Sonic Matrix and you shorten it to SM, that might not paint the Sonic franchise in a clean, kid-friendly ma manner now that I think about it. But then again, as Channel Pup, a YouTuber that I follow, have said, Sonic is considered a... <clears throat> sexually active hedgehog, so it wouldn't be that much of a stretch for Sega not to call it Sonic Matrix to point fun at the fact that it appears that Sonic did indeed fuck a human in the infamous Sonic 06 which is now starting to gain popularity because because apparently just enough time has passed for everyone to look back at it at Psycho 6 and say holy shit this is actually a good game that needs a fuck ton of polishing so hang on a second if you ever decide to call your new Sonic game Sonic Matrix, credit me as the person who came up with it, please. Thank you. But in all seriousness, let's be honest. The new Sonic footage looks really different from the 2010. The trees and the grass looked very realistic, and when Sonic ran, instead of just boosting, looks like he's going to step right into the Matrix. I mean, seriously. That was exactly what was going through my head when they said that. Sonic Colors Ultimate. To be fair, I never played Sonic Colors. Not even once. Why? Because I never had the pleasure of owning a Wii 
or a DS. And even if I did, my mom would give it to my brother instead because... Well, gender stereotypes. And I'm like, dude, I want to play Sonic Colors. Honest. Cross my heart and hope to die. And now that there is a version of Sonic Colors that Sega is releasing on PC, I'm like one happy camper because let me show you the only, only bit of gaming tech that I have. Yep. Same laptop that I record my footage on. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry you had to see all of those stickers on it, but that's what my laptop looks like. And the <clears throat> in all fairness, I hadn't played many Sonic games. Believe it or not. And the only reason why is because it's a long, complicated story, and yeah. And also the fact that the Werehog is coming to Sonic Dash, I'm like, yes, yeah. It just, yeah, missed a good opportunity for that shit last year when Halloween landed on a legit full moon. <sighs> I mean, seriously, missed opportunity much? Eh, it's better than nothing. And I had a feeling they were going to do that. I also had, had a feeling that they were going to have to adjust their tack anyway after the clusterfuck called Sonic Forces. Everyone bashes on Sonic 06, but not many people actually go on Sonic Forces, except for a few channels who had a lot to say about it and not in a good way. I played it too and it's like it's good for a long it's good for like a boring three hour long car ride but it's not really replayable and to me, the stark difference between Sonic Forces and Sonic Generations is how classic Sonic played, which, as you can see, I love Sonic Generations, and it plays like butter for me in Generations, but when I played it on Forces, which, sadly, I have no footage of because that was at my best friend Dragonfire's house, <sighs> It felt clunky, and it did not feel great playing as Classic Sonic, Modern Stop Sonic, or even the OC character that you created. Mine just looked like a female Sonic, but... And plus, I didn't even get to... That, and I'm like, Ugh. and then COVID, and then there's COVID, which kind of threw a damper and everything. And I'm starting to think that maybe Sonic Forces might have been testing a new lighting engine. And let me just say, peeps, you fell short. <sighs> And 
and everyone seems to think that the fact that three different sock games all have the same letter starting with the second name, Rose, Rangers, and the third one begins with an R, but I don't remember that, but anyway, everyone's saying coincidence, I think not, and I'm like, are you sure? Sega is pretty good at mind fucking people when it comes to their new games. I mean, seriously, when the Werehog was introduced, nobody could make heads or tails of it. They just assume they. I don't know their reaction, to be honest, but. I watched the teaser trailer for Slack Unleashed first before playing the actual game, and I'm like, okay, what was that? And then I played it on my PlayStation 2 emulator, and I was like, oh, okay. But I'm glad that they're making a Slack Unleashed port for PC. Uh, Someday. Sometime within the next ten years. But not this year, because we all know Sonic Colors Ultimate is coming, and I'm stoked for that. But what do you guys think of my idea of calling the new Sonic 2022 game that was teased in the... Sonic Livestream, Sonic Matrix, let me know in the comments section, because holy shit, there's a lot more that's coming. I mean, my Sonic senses have been going off the damn radar ever since the beginning of the new year, and finally they said something. Oh yeah. But anyway, subscribe for more, etc. Hit the like button and I'll...